all the Midnight's children and you're a Midnight uh, child. Almost. Almost. Mm. All the Midnight's children have special superpowers. Mm. If you could, do you have any, by the way? I, uh, I'm, I'm not able to reveal my secret identity at this point. Oh, <laughs> are you wearing that? Oh, okay, <laughs> well, so you will fly off. Yeah, no. But if you could, if you mm. could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm quite happy with. I think just being a better writer might be good. Uh, and so that would be. Oh, so then what would uh, you win? The Booker of the Bookers of the Bookers? Or, uh, okay, well, no, I think something else, perhaps. <laughs> Another character in one of your books, uh, Morais, discovers he's a born storyteller. Telling stories gives him an erection. Are you aroused by your own storytelling skills? You know, I, mean, I think sometimes I laugh, it's true. I mean, there's, you know, there's occasions when you think that it's really funny and that's always, I mean not often enough frankly, but, but sometimes, yeah, uh, I once made myself cry, uh, which was kind of ridiculous. Um, in, when I was writing Shalimar the Clan, there's a, there's a passage in there where uh, one of the, the, the girl's father uh, dies in a, in a fruit orchard, you know, and I mean he actually dies peacefully, not violently, and so on, but I had become very fond of him, you know, and I was writing this passage and I found myself crying and I thought this is idiotic, I'm just making this up. <laughs> but it did, that's the only time I've, but some, yeah, sometimes laughter and tears, but mostly you're just sweating it out. And a, and a lot of sex in, in, in your books. Only I mean, recently. Got, only oh, recently, not recently. I mean, you've got Akbar having sex with an apparition. Ooh. You've got Salim Sinai obsessed with this because he can't. Yes, that's Maurice true. almost having a curse with his 12 inch weapon. Yes, um, yes. Well, I think. Is it because you're having too much or too little? I don't know. I think that's for you to judge. Really. No, no, how is it for me to judge? <laughs> I know um, nothing about you. Um, it, it's. Most of the. In most of my books, the sex was either kind of off stage or it was comic. You know, that's just one or the other. And I think it's, it's very difficult to write about sexual encounters non-comically without being kind of ridiculous um, or unintentionally funny.